come on! <laughs> that absolute hype. I have shit tons of energy tonight because Manchester City have signed Super Jack Grealish. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, I want to say, by the way, if you don't mind, please go and download One Football in the link in the description below. Do me a solid, download One Football. It's fantastic and it's the best place for all the Manchester City news other than yourself at mancity.com. Of course, download it right now. It's fantastic and you get all your Jack Grealish stats and all that kind of stuff. Come on. Absolutely delighted and buzzing tonight. Do me a favour down and uh, click it in the link in the description below. If you do not mind, it'd be absolutely fantastic. What a day. What a day. Genuinely as good as day as one football. Like I said, I'll do you a solid. I'm doing a, a sponsored integration right now. Keep your dirty thoughts to yourself. Unless it's about Manchester City Football Club, then we can all pile on in. Now, also do me another favour if you don't mind. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And open my reaction video that I spent ages recording earlier. And let it play out in another tab if you don't mind because it'd be massively appreciated. Two videos at once. But does anyone else watch that, uh, the, the actual trailer on Twitter? I was buzzing. I hit Nicola could not see a test. I actually went, oh, I actually cheered out loud. It was hype, man. It was absolutely a hype moment. And I love it because, like, in general, my view of life is you got to enjoy anything that you can of the things that you like. And right now, I love football. I always love football. But right now, I'm loving that Manchester City have signed Jack Grealish because it's a, a hype signing. It absolutely is. So you're damn right I enjoyed that. You're damn right I'm making the most of it. Don't let those miserable, cynical so-and-sos tell you not to get excited. This is good fun. And that trailer made me, a 35-year-old man, just go, whoa, out loud. Do you know what? Because it looked like a Christopher Nolan trailer with the big boom, horns and all that kind of stuff. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. It's sick. It's just a quality trailer. And that's the kind of thing I want from my club. And we've got Jack Grealish. What a time to be alive. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Big, big love to Danny Stulen saying we are so strong. It's actually insane. That midfield after that. It's the strongest Jack Grealish's calves. It's wonderful, Danny. Thank you so, so, so much. I'm, I'm, I'm in a good mood tonight. The trailer was sick getting said said the dragon of a chigo. What a name, man. A fiery name for a fiery night of football. It was indeed. It was wonderful, wonderful stuff. I forgot to put the headline bar. I'll get rid of that there. There we go. Editing error there. But I'm so, so excited for this. Thank you to everyone who's watching so far. 285 people. Please do hit that like button. This is a good time to be a Manchester City fan. Of course, it could get more fun as well with the Jack of the messy stuff going around earlier. Maybe, maybe. But right now... <clears throat> Let's talk about Grealish. <clears throat> Let's talk about why we should be excited by this signing. Because he's the exact kind of player that you've got to get excited about. Our new number 10, Jack Grealish. It's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. Because this guy really is the real deal. He really is the real deal. He's an exciting player. He makes things happen. Some players just give you goosebumps. Some players get you going as a football fan. Some players play how you want to play as a young person. And Jack Grealish epitomizes that. He is a little bit laid back. He is a little bit of a maverick. But he wants to play football. You can tell he was obsessed over the sport in the way, in the way that Phil Foden does. And that is the kind of shit that I absolutely love. I want a player to care about football fundamentally. And you can tell he does. You can tell he lives and breathes football in general. And he's just fun, man. He is the kind of player you want to watch. He is going to beat people. He's going to get us off the edge of our seats. He's going to score some wonderful goals. He's going to play some incredible, incredible, incredible stuff uh, alongside the likes of De Bruyne, Foden, Sterling, and all these people. Ah, oh, it's wonderful, man. It's absolutely wonderful. And right now, you can drink in the tears of our rivals because it's... Phenomenal stuff. Sometimes you got to take it and sometimes you got to enjoy it. And right now, this is the best time to be around as a Manchester City fan. It's just, this is the good stuff. This is the good stuff. And I'm a happy man. I'm a very happy man. Grealish is going to bring a lot to this team. I'm almost certain he is. Um, he's a fantastic player. I, don't, <laughs> I know he may be a United fan or whatever, but all I know is that he's a Kevin De Bruyne fan. And all I know is that he's a Manchester City player now. And all I know is that he's going to do some wonderful things. Absolutely wonderful things in a City shirt. And I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Um... Maybe, maybe you can follow it in the wonderful shoes of Fabian Delph as the next Aston Villa player <laughs> um, to make it. I can't wait, man. I absolutely can't wait. This is going to be wonderful. Um, I don't think my tweet sent, actually, for what it's worth, my live tweet. It didn't send. What are you doing, Twitter? It did not send. That's annoying. I tried to send a tweet. Um, uh, <laughs> oh, I did a live version. Why isn't my, it's not sent. My live uh, reaction. Uh, how dare it? How dare it? And let me just do a quick tweet if you don't mind. Uh, oh, it's not sent live. 
What's that about? What's that about? Right, I've, I've said, can everyone do, go and retweet the thing that I've just shared right now, if you don't mind. That would be really, really appreciated. Um, but we're all good and we're all here. How is everyone feeling, by the way? Are you all excited, man? Uh, I am. I certainly am. This is once again. This is the kind of shit I watch football for. Uh, this is why I watch football. I want to see. Uh, I want to see players like Jack Grealish in the Manchester City shirt. It, you've got to enjoy this. You've got to make the most of these kind of things. Um, we want Messi. Well, maybe we can get Messi. Maybe there's a world where Messi and Grealish play together, man. Maybe we do. But um, I do honestly think uh, there's a level to Jack Grealish that we haven't found yet. I do think if anyone can get this high, highest, highest quality level out of uh, Grealish, it's going to be Pep Guardiola. If you watch my actual reaction, not the live one, the reaction video, um, you can see... Um, I did all the stats, I broke them down. This guy is an absolute statistical freak. He really is. Uh, in terms of like chances creating and all that kind of stuff. He's up there alongside Kevin De Bruyne. <clears throat> It's quite crazy. It's quite crazy how good this young man is. Uh, genuinely wonderful stuff. Um, enjoy it as well. Enjoy it as well. Uh, Leng and Sweet uh, saying, talk messy, forget Jack Grealish another day. Uh, no, I'm not forgetting Jack Grealish. I am not forgetting Jack Grealish. This guy, this is his time in the line. Like, we'll get on to Messi in a bit, but right now, this is Jack Grealish's moment. I mean, look how fucking cool he looks in those photos. You're damn right I'm going to give Jack Grealish the time of day because he deserves that time of day. This is his big day. This is his big day. And Messi at the moment is just a pipe dream. So we've got to enjoy Grealish as it is. Um, what a, what a wonderful time, man. What a wonderful time. I'm absolutely delighted. Um, fingers to me, <laughs> where I see him now, linking up with Foden, Sterling, um, maybe Harry Kane, maybe Harry Kane, maybe Messi, maybe one of those two. But I think it's fair to say as well, he comes in to replace, essentially, uh, Bernardo Silva. He doesn't, if I'm being honest. Um, and it's a bit of a shame, but that that's how it probably goes. Maybe I'm wrong there, but I do honestly think that's how it's going down. Hello to John, by the way. Hello to Ray and uh, the Bill ABC in the chat, the members there, absolute legends. I appreciate you all absolutely loads. Um, who does he, who's he challenging now, in everyone's opinion? I think Gundo's going to be looking over his shoulder a little bit nervously. I definitely I genuinely think he is. Um, it's nerve wracking for them now. It really is. Uh, <laughs> it's 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 interesting. It's interesting to see how this goes down. It really is. <laughs> um, we're not getting messy because Jack took the number 10 shirt. Nah, that's not how it works, man. I'm pretty certain he's said to Jack Grealish. By the way, do you, do you need to give up? Do you mind giving up your shirt to play with the greatest player of all time? You go, okay. Okay, and City would just sort out the transfers with the shirt numbers and all that kind of stuff. That's not how it works. And even then, Messi became, um, he would go in a different way. Apparently, they just dropped an interview with Jack Grealish. Come back to it in a bit, if you don't mind, for now, though. Um, is it Grealish 10? It is Jack Grealish 10. Uh, that could be a very iconic thing. Um, AJ saying Gundo's got to look over his shoulder. And, of course, um, the left wing, which I think is fair. I think it definitely is fair, man. It really is. Um, oh, this, this is just wonderful stuff. Like... Like, to be honest, I've not been this excited about signing for a long time, honestly. And I think it's because Grealish, it's not a very Manchester City signing. And by what I mean by that, they're usually like 60 million kind of players that are like, you know, that are relatively functional, exciting, but always functional. This one feels a bit different. It feels a little bit more, a bit not a bit risky, maybe a little bit kind of dangerous, a really fun signing. Um, It's an exciting signing. Like, I'm obviously signing attackers is always good, but I think it's because he's a bit of a poster boy potentially as well for English football in general. And I think it's because we want to watch him with Foden. And I also want to watch him play with a guy he absolutely loves. He wants to play with Kevin De Bruyne. We all know that is actually true, that he's obsessed with Kevin De Bruyne. So that's what makes it exciting in my personal opinion. Let's get those likes over 200 if you don't mind. Um... A hundred million pounds. That's an awful lot of money, man. But maybe he's going to be worth it. I, I made a video which I'm putting out tomorrow morning with an Aston Villa journalist. And they said he's going to be worth every penny. And it wouldn't be surprised if one day he challenged for the Ballon d'Or. And do you know what? They, they rate him that highly. They really do rate him that highly over there. Which is just crazy when you think about it. Um... Messi can have 19, who cares? Yeah, Messi will find his own number if he comes. I mean, for what it's worth, by the way, uh, uh, I would very much... There's oh, an Aston Villa fan in the chat saying Plastic FC. He's very upset. He's a sad boy. He's just go, and, go and play with your Danny Ings and your Leon Bailey, the tears, and take your little tears and put... Uh, your little salty tears and put them on your chips. Uh, leave it out. Don't worry about it. Um... So I reckon it's going to be really interesting, like watching, like I mean the messy thing for me. If I'm being honest, if I'm if I'm cheeky right now, I'm picking up the phone and going, uh, let's just get messy for a year and get Haaland next year instead. Uh, <laughs> but we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that, are we? Um, messy hero number. Yeah, imagine Messi could be number one. 
We haven't got number one, have we? I don't think we have a number one. Imagine Messi wearing number one. That would be special. Like, so Edison's a goalkeeper with number 30 or whatever, and then Messi just wears number one. Now, that is how you, that's how you cause a scene, in my personal opinion. Um, that is what is going to cause a, a massive, massive change. Uh, <laughs> um, either way, man, enjoy this. Enjoy it. Like, sightings like this do not happen very often, and they are absolutely worth jumping all over that, that hype train for. Um it's weird seeing get someone of Aguero than number 10. It really is. But, I mean, I would have guessed it would have been offered to someone else, maybe like Foden first. He's going to stick to his number 47. This season's going to be great fun, Ray. You're absolutely right. I mean, for me, these things, are, these are what I want. This is what I want, genuinely. Um... Oh, Jack, I'm going to go and click on the Man City YouTube video about Jack Grealish. Uh, and I, they've done... Um, the video, and I, I need to comment on it, uh, saying welcome, Jack, because I absolutely love him. Uh, this is exciting. It is exciting. You're right. Um, uh, I'm loving this. I'm loving it. Um, I can't wait to see him. Honestly, I've got a feeling he's going to bring a different thing to Manchester City. Um, he really is. It's going to be... He's a marquee signing, you're right, Sravo. He really is a marquee signing. I think it's because it's 100 million as well. And to be honest, it's a rarely done thing in football. This is an absolute superstar signing. And it's weird, though. But do you know why I, you know I like the signing? I've talked about the Kane one being a little bit... Not down on it, but I've never been overly excited on it. The reason I like this one is because he's going to be... I know he was Villa superstar, but he was never a world superstar at Villa. And I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. I just mean that in a factual way. He hadn't played on the Champions League stage. And I think, obviously, everyone knows who Jack Greedy is. But... So what I will say is he's not played in the Champions League. You know, they haven't watched him regularly. Like Aston Villa, Aston Villa player is never going to be a superstar until he plays in the Champions League. So what I'm excited about this is because he could become a superstar in the way that Kevin De Bruyne has uh, at Manchester City. Uh, and I love that because Kevin De Bruyne was already close to a superstar, but he's level right now after leaving Wolfsburg. And that's not too dissimilar, by the way, to comparison. Um, it's on another level and he became the Manchester City's Kevin De Bruyne. I want him to become Manchester City's Jack Grealish. Um, and this is why, what makes it really exciting on a personal level for me. These are the kind of transfers that get me out of bed. They really are. These are the fun ones. Um, these are the magic ones. And to be honest, I can't wait for someone who can do those dribbles in the way that Sane could. And watching that one way run through the middle of the pitch, even reminding me of Yaya a little bit against Aston Villa a while back. They are the kind of ones that I want to see. Uh, it's fun, man. They made him special socks, did they, actually? Do you know what? I've not even looked at the pictures yet. I've not even looked at them all because they're too busy setting up the streams. Uh, but what I do know is I fucking love that shit. Uh, <laughs> get all that stuff. Give, give, him some, give him some special socks and all this kind of stuff. Um, I mean, this photo, by the way, is just... That is just, I mean, look at that. It's wonderful, isn't it? It's so, look, <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. I love it. That, as far as press photos go, look, if Jack Greedis was on Facebook somewhere, that would be his Facebook profile picture. That's all I'm saying. It's going to be his Tinder photo. You know, <laughs> it's just class. Um, it's what would be mine anyway if I was, uh, if, I, if, I, if, I, if I was football. I'd have that all over Facebook. It'd be absolutely wonderful. Um, it's a magical photo. It really is. The thing is, that is the size now, by the way. Jack Grealish is a superstar, but he's going to be on another level playing for Manchester City. And that is how these things work. They really do. Like, it's a different world entirely at this club. It really, really is. Um... Oh, don't slow down, laptop, if that's all right. I would appreciate if you didn't do that today. It would really massively be appreciated. Um... I mean, does anyone like, has anyone got any concerns over Grealish personally? For me, it's fine. Um, Tron reckons we should get the Messi, get Messi and spend the money, the funny Kane for his wages. Get Messi, okay, that's interesting, man, that's interesting. Uh, maybe we should do, maybe we won't, who knows. I feel like there's going to be another twist or two here or there, though. That's what I will say. I do feel like there'll be, uh, <laughs> the Rock Lee's excited. Go on, Rock Lee. You, 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 uh, you have, a, have a good time, my friend. You have a good time. Uh, you enjoy yourself. Uh, you deserve it. Uh, everyone deserves it. Everyone have a good time. Get yourself a drink out, you know. Um, I wish I wish I had a drink right, right about now. Um, uh, I'm looking forward to this, though. I'm looking forward to seeing how he gets on. Uh, and he's off to Wem and you're off to Wembley on Saturday, says Simon. I'm not going to be at Wembley, unfortunately, because this is wedding plans and all that kind of stuff. Um, can't afford it and stuff. But I hope you all enjoy it. I hope you enjoy Wembley. I do think we'll see him, by the way. I think we'll see him play, which will be fantastic. I think Grealish will play. Um, I saw some United fans saying he'd be worth 30 million if you had the Rooney haircut. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, they're salty. They're salty. Um, 
No, I mean, you must admit that's, that's all part of it, isn't it? You know, his aesthetic and all that kind of stuff. Um, but it's all good fun. And it's all the kind of stuff that you want. Um, desperate for Messi, Steven. That would this that would just be huge. Of course we all are. But let's let's appreciate what we've got, by the way. The grass isn't always green on the other side. It may be pretty green with Lionel Messi. I'm not going to lie. But let's just, in, yeah, let's just appreciate it. And as Chris just said, that Jack Grealish intro, though, it was wonderful, man. I was hyped. It literally made me cheer out loud. That is the kind of stuff you want to see from this club. I heard a rumor that like City in general don't Guardiola in general doesn't like fancy um fancy over the top uh, you know welcome videos. But see you've gone for it there, and I love it. I love it. I mean it's cool in my opinion. If you sign a hundred million pound player and you got to show it off, it's like having a fancy car and not letting anyone in the world see it. Sometimes you got to clean this fancy new car and drive it around for the world to see. And that's and that to me is what's really exciting. Um. Get get Ace on the horn. It's been a wild night. Oh, yeah, Ace on sat by the pool in Ibiza, living loving life because th that's the kind of life Ace on lives. Uh, the the international superstar playboy. And uh, you can tell him I called you. you can tell him I called him that. <laughs> Um, that is Asan's life in a nutshell. I'm here in a tiny little flat in Manchester. This is how. Um, oh, he's asking me to verify it's me, YouTube. It's so weird. That's, that's such a weird bit of behavior. So, shall I go live on Twitch after this, by the way? Are we up for a live on Twitch? Uh, we can do a little bit of analysis around uh, almost 600 people. Don't forget to hit the like, uh, the, the like, um, the like button if you don't mind. It'd be massively, massively appreciated. Um, let's get this video liked and all this kind of stuff. Uh, let's. Uh, oh, Ada Ellsworth. Oh, just just 500 fans. You gotta bear in mind as well that there's a shit ton of other videos live right now. So I'm I'm sharing an audience. Twitch afterwards, definitely. I'm sorry that it's lagging. We'll go for another five minutes in here. Could you all do me a massive favor? Go and watch my reaction. My reaction video, by the way, is actually deep and insightful in my personal opinion. I've done my research on it. So if you want to talk about Jack Greenish, go and watch my reaction video where I've got all the stats breakdown. I've talked about where you're playing, all that kind of stuff. And this is just a hype, hype waffle. So um, enjoy the hype waffle. But what I will say is go watch my actual reaction video that I've set, if that's okay. Um, that it would be great. It would be great. Um... Yeah, the messy hype trade, another 5k subs in one week. Oh, it'd be crazy, man. Uh, so, either way, guys, thank you so much for watching this. Enjoy the hype. Big love to every single audience. Uh, Twitch in five minutes. Maybe Twitch at half past. See you in two minutes. See you for the, uh, see you for the, see you for Twitch. Uh, come for Grealish, stay for Steven on Twitch. For now, though, please do me a massive favor. Please do me a massive favor. Go and download One Football if you don't mind in the link in the description below. It's fantastic. It helps support my channel. Uh, and I love you all absolutely loads if you don't mind doing that. For now, though, see you on Twitch. On Twitch in a bit. Watch the reaction video. Bye bye.